Now more than ever, K-pop and the word luxury go hand in hand. We've all seen idols dressed in glitzy and high fashion outfits or buying cars worth millions. But not everything is always as it seems, and all that glitz and glam hides the real truth. Some of these idols are in no way as rich as they make themselves seem. An article on the KU website highlighted that South Korea is the number one spender on luxury goods, surpassing the United States and China. The total spending on personal luxury goods by South Korea grew by $16.8 billion. According to analysts, the demand for luxury goods in South Korea is driven not only by the increase in purchasing power, but also by the desire to showcase one's social standing. A comment under the article read, Watching any Korean YouTuber, you can notice how they almost always live in a single room with everything clumped together, but they'll still buy luxury wallets, bags, shoes, etc. They just care about showing off in public. For as long as we can remember, wealth was a sign of comfortable life and where you belong in society. People who surround themselves with luxury seem like they have it all in life, which ultimately makes them climb the social ladder. It's sad that someone's worth is measured in how much luxurious and expensive items they can afford, but it's the truth. So-called flex culture, where people show off their possessions in hopes of getting some validation from others, can be like poison. In 2020, when the pandemic was on the rise, there was an increase in the number of Koreans who spent their money on luxury goods, but cut down on the cost of things necessary for their daily life. There have been a few instances when celebrities have been caught showing off a lifestyle that they couldn't afford. In 2021, the rapper Dolki was accused by a US-based jewelry company of not paying for the jewelry his record label purchased for one of his concerts. All those items were worth almost $35,000. This issue was taken to court, and the legal proceedings were difficult and complicated, but in 2022, the court ordered Dolki to pay the money he owed the company. As he is not only a rapper, but a record producer as well, Dolki is a known name in the Korean hip-hop scene, but the public's opinion might have changed after he was sued by the jewelry company. Company. One comment on Panchoa related to Doki's scandal mentioned that it's actually very frowned upon and people are even ridiculed for renting or borrowing luxury clothes and accessories in Korea despite it being popular in the USA. The Korean hip-hop group Homies could be considered as rookies in the hip-hop scene as they haven't been on the scene for too long. Yet as soon as they made a little bit of money, some of the members decided to purchase cars, one of them being a Ferrari. In an interview, they were asked if they have ever felt like they were successful and famous and one of the members, team answered that he was able to feel like this after he purchased a car. CK then added that after he purchased his Ferrari, he got into an accident on an icy road. After one of the MCs suggested that maybe he should have invested the money into something better, the group agreed that expensive cars were always their dream. It might sound a little crazy, but it's common for celebrities to lie about how much they make. This was recently revealed by Shiny's Key when he was a guest on A-Pink's Blumie's YouTube channel. Among other things, Key talked about paychecks and money, which are usually sensitive topics for people, and you won't hear them talking about it on public broadcasts. Key said, To be honest, I don't think you'll be able to hear about this on broadcasts, but celebrities lie about their income. When fellow celebrities ask questions like that, they reflexively tell you a higher average. It's quite impossible to forget the scandal that surrounded Song Jia shortly after she appeared in the Netflix show Singles Inferno. Very quickly, Jia became known as the fashionable it girl, and her popularity skyrocketed. Through her Instagram and YouTube channel, Jia showed off a lifestyle that a lot of people envied as she could seemingly afford things many people couldn't. Then, in January 2022, Jia got embroiled in a controversy that her lifestyle was fabricated and the high-end fashion pieces she wore during the show were actually fake. After netizens did a little digging, they realized that the Chanel top Jia wore when she first entered the villa seemed to be a knockoff. The color, the pattern, and the placement of the logo seemed to be different. The Chanel jacket she wore was similar to the one that Blackpink's Jennie had, but it seemed different. While many Western fans didn't see this as a huge issue, a lot of Koreans found this problematic. They even called Jia ignorant for wearing knockoff high fashion items on a show. Judging by the comments, it seemed like netizens believed that people should only wear luxury clothes if they can afford the real thing. Many people thought that Jia was born with a golden spoon, and while she denied this claim, she did admit to growing up in a comfortable household. Her wealth is what made her attractive and famous. No one cared that she worked hard as an influencer and that she was successful on her own. People saw the lavish lifestyle that she had and the luxurious items, and when it was revealed that none of it was real, people suddenly lost interest and turned their backs on her. What feeds into the consumerism of luxury goods are K-pop idols and the K-pop culture overall. It doesn't happen very often that idols are seen wearing affordable clothes that are available to almost everyone. In 9 cases out of 10, idols are seen wearing clothes that cost more than someone's monthly rent. This is a massive contrast to the reality, that most of these idols have to pay off huge debts to their company. When these idols 
step into the spotlight, they are wearing the newest trendy clothes and accessories, but behind the scenes, they have thousands worth of debt or they're not getting paid at all. These companies use these idols as a proof that they are successful and financially stable by dressing them in brands like Louis Vuitton or Chanel. When you see an idol wearing a beautiful gown or a trendy suit on the red carpet, they tend to be either gifted or borrowed by the brand, and most of the time it's high-end brands that have been around for years. Sometimes the brand's exposure drive fans to buy the items, even if the idols can't actually purchase the items. The situation around idols not receiving their payments for their activities has gotten a little better, but there are still some who don't get paid at all, or they receive the bare minimum. And how could they afford these luxurious and glitzy outfits when they can barely afford the daily necessities? In recent years, K-pop idols being ambassadors or promoting high-end brands has been on the ultimate high. It's undeniable that these idols have a huge influence on the market and its consumers. Even high school students now are willing to spend thousands on a high-end bag or shoes. BTS's song called Spinebreaker talks about parents working extremely hard so they can afford expensive clothes for their children. The phrase Spinebreaker was created about 10 years ago when the North Face's padded jackets became extremely popular among Korean teenagers, but the average price of them was around 500,000 to 600,000 Korean won. Spinebreaker then refers to a parent whose spine breaks because they work so hard. The situation has gotten much worse because now teenagers desire items that are worth millions of Korean won or even more. K-pop fans, especially teenagers, can be easily influenced by their favorite idols and they don't think twice about spending huge amounts of money on something their favorite idol endorsed or promoted. They don't even have to promote the product, they can just be seen wearing it and their fans will go and sell it out in minutes. The fact that this idol probably can't afford it doesn't matter to them. South Korea being the number one spender on luxury goods is definitely fueled by the entertainment industry. It's the most prominent with the fourth generation of K-pop that has both young idols and young fans. There's a reason why all these luxurious brands have been signing more and more fourth gen idols. The most prominent idol is definitely Won Young from IVE as she has been invited for Fashion Week in Paris and her accommodation was provided by the brand Fred, which she endorses. Espa, even though they debuted just two years ago, attended the Givenchy fashion show because the whole group was chosen as brand ambassadors shortly after their debut. There's a fierce competition between luxury brands to select new and popular girl groups as ambassadors. New Jeans, for example, already have deals with Gucci, Burberry, and Louis Vuitton, and recently, it was announced that Minji became Chanel's newest global ambassador. A researcher at Hanwha Investment and Security said, various indicators show that the performance of fourth generation idol groups is rising at a faster rate than in the past. Fourth generation idols have a huge influence on the next wave of luxury buyers, which is why brands have been trying to be the first one to sign these young and incredibly influential idols. In 2021, it was estimated that K-pop fans could spend around $1,400 on albums, concert tickets, and merchandise, with armies being on the top of the list. This only included the official merch and none of the endorsement goods or sponsorships. In 2021, when EXO's Kai collaborated with Gucci on his epilogue collection, the item sold out quickly after the launch. It was sold out in Thailand, Singapore, and some stores in Japan. Prices for those items range between $200 to almost $3,000, something that an average K-pop fan can't afford. In the first month of 2023, several idols have been announced to be new ambassadors for high-end brands, like Suga becoming the face of Valentino, or New Jeans' is Hain becoming an ambassador for Louis Vuitton. Surely there's more to come in the following months, and the influence of K-pop on the luxury brands will get even stronger. And some K-pop fans will eat it all up. It doesn't matter that they could be high school students with a little to no income. These brands know what to do to get their attention. It's not the actual idol's fault, but the consumerism in K-pop is intense. Brands are quickly learning that partnering up with K-pop idols will get them even more buyers and interest than before. Willingly or not, K-pop idols paint this picture that if someone wants to be like them, they need to spend thousands on one bag or on a simple coat. Older K-pop fans might realize that this is just a marketing strategy, but since more younger people are joining the K-pop fandom, they might not be able to tell the difference. The fear of missing out is very strong in K-pop, with fans feeling terrible if they don't manage to purchase something that their favorite idol released. They fear that just because they couldn't purchase a certain item, they can't be considered a real fan, which is totally not true. On the other hand, there are people who will not think twice about dropping thousands and thousands on something their idol promoted, which is a win for the brand. And the company as well, since companies cut a chunk out of the money the idol receives from the sponsorships or endorsement. Idols collaborating with brands is slowly becoming a staple thing in K-pop, and it's bound to become even more intense. That'd be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!